Hey guys, what's going on? Michael White here, your favorite developer. Now today marks two very big milestones for both myself and the channel. For me, I've been doing this coding thing for a year now. I went from not knowing anything about coding or web development to being a professional developer currently working in the field today. And that's been a wild journey in and of itself. Also, we hit a thousand subscribers on the channel. So thank you guys who have subscribed and we're moving onward and upwards, baby. But let's get into it. When I first started a year ago, the first dozen, 20, 30 web pages that I built were absolute garbage tier. Like garbage. They were terrible <laughs> websites. But at the time, they were really cool and it was all new. And I enjoyed it and thought it was really cool. Now, in hindsight, I realized how terrible they are. But I went from building those websites to making websites that now my company uses to shop around to some of its clients, including Google. I just think that's absolutely wild, <laughs> All right? Like my websites are being demoed, which is just, it's mind blowing to me, it's crazy. But in this video, I'm gonna give you guys my two personal secrets to success in this journey to becoming a web developer. Now, don't worry, I'm not gonna try to pitch you a course or sell you something. I give free value over here, all right? We give, we give value for free. I'm all about the free. All right, now the first thing, I don't know if I've ever shown this on my YouTube. I've talked about it, I've mentioned it a few times. Now I've had this marker board next to my desk since I've started coding. Now when I originally started, this is actually really hard to hold. I should, I should have took a picture and did this. That'd be like so much easier. <laughs> but when I originally started, it was just HTML to JavaScript. Everything else was added over time. So when I first started, you could tell I was a noob because I put HTML and HTML5. Awesome. <laughs> but I wanted to be a JavaScript developer. That was the path that I saw. And then on the other side over here, I think it's this side, I put down some goals for myself. Now the most important thing on this wobbly screen that you guys are probably trying to read that I'm doing a horrible job of holding, is the one year goals. So I'm gonna leave them here for a second. I'll let you guys look. You can pause it here if you wanna look through everything I had, but uh, I'm getting tired, I'm getting sweaty, and this board's real heavy. This board was one of the most important things that kept me going. It kept me consistent. It allowed me to track what I was doing and it allowed me to see what I needed to do. If I ever came across something that I needed to learn or wanted to learn, I would add it to the board and start working towards it, whether it be projects, languages, libraries, a new book that I wanted to read, a new goal, I would just add it there. The biggest thing on here, the most important, was the one-year goals though. And I'll go over my one-year goals with you guys if you're curious real fast, and just tell you guys what it was that I was trying to attain. I had five one-year goals. The first was become a web developer, check. Second, master HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. Now that I know a little bit more, I don't think it's possible to really master JavaScript. Like that's a, JavaScript is a beast of a language, man. But you can be proficient and I'll settle for that right now. <laughs> uh, third was to build a network, which is something that I've actually started doing both on LinkedIn and in my personal community Discord, which we like to help each other share and grow. If that's something you'd be interested in joining, I'll have a link to the Discord down below. There's almost 200 of us in there, if not 200 already. So do come by, the community is growing, we're helping each other out, all right? The fourth goal I had was to start teaching somebody else how to code, essentially. And it turns out that one of my friends wanted to change careers, so I've been kind of helping him and teaching him web development. And you learn a lot from teaching. And the fifth goal I had was to build a website for someone else. Needlessly to say, when you become a developer, that's kind of what you do. So <laughs> that was a give me. Each one of those one-year goals I set paid off in dividends. It didn't even matter if I reached the goal or not. Just working towards those goals every day made me so much better at coding, at communicating, at talking to people, at having people to talk to, the benefits of those one-year goals, even if not attained, like if you're just grinding towards them, are exponential. So for me, that was a solid base to get started and a solid plan to move forward. And somewhere along the lines, I accomplished all those one-year goals and then just moved into my five-year goals. Like it was almost automatic. I'm already checking off things from the five-year box and it's just nuts. So I really do believe that just putting your ideas down putting your goals down, what you're working on, what you need to do, putting it somewhere you can see every day and just like make it so you can see the progress because it just keeps you going, it keeps you motivated and you have like a guiding light. That's probably like seriously my biggest hack to being successful in this whole web development thing is that little 
$30 marker board, man. I'm telling you, it's gotten me through some, <laughs> some hard days. It's just very beneficial to have all your goals there like that. The second thing that helped me have a successful first year of coding was taking off the limiter, right? Somewhere along the way, I had all these limitations put on me, whether I put them on myself, whether they're put on me by other people, somewhere along the way, those limits got put on, you know? I thought I could never be a web developer because I was bad at math. Yeah, stuff like that. I used to think that making, you know, 70, 80K a year was a lot of money. It's not, especially in this field. You can make, <laughs> you can make a lot of money in this field. I don't know where or how those limits got put on me, but they were, you know? I used to think things like I could never make a successful YouTube because I don't have the equipment. I'd, I'd always tell myself the things I couldn't do. And somewhere along the line, I start taking all those limitations off. Like why limit yourself on how much money you should make a year or what is a lot of money? Why limit yourself on what you could try because of what you heard from other people and you haven't even experienced yourself, you know? The only one who can tell you that something's hard or that you can't do something is you. And you should be fair and honest with yourself and at least give it a real try before you decide that it's not for you or before you decide that it's something you cannot do. It's easy to make excuses, but if you really want something, you'll work around all those excuses and get it done. I don't know if I explained that clearly, <laughs> but I don't know. It's just, I've said it in some of my videos before. It's just those limitations you put on yourself are so damaging and you, you don't realize they're there until you take them off and you're like, whoa, what was I thinking this whole time? But removing all those limitations, remove the I can't, you can do anything you want to do. You can be anything you want to be. You just have to fully embrace that. As cliche as it is, just, just do you, <laughs> right? There's, there's no better way to put it. That's just what it is. That's just what it takes, you know? Now, I don't want to go into too much depth around my five and my 10-year goals. They were on the board, if you guys saw them. But because I'm still working towards those, you know? And things change. We pivot. We change directions. So... We'll see how things go. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I did have one very personal goal on there. Maybe my handwriting was really bad and you couldn't read any of it, in which case, I'm sorry <laughs> for my chicken scratch. And that one was to own a vacation home in Colorado. So that will happen. I love the mountains. I love the cold. Actually, I don't like the cold that much, but I like the mountain cold. Does, does that make sense? <laughs> but that's one of those things that I would have told myself before that I could never have. But now after doing this dance for one year and taking those limiters off, and just being consistent, I know it's something that I'm gonna get. And that's just wild, man. We hit a thousand subscribers, so I'm gonna be stepping up the quality here soon and stepping up this studio, eh? <laughs> and I got some other things planned, so now it's just a matter of execution. Also, I'm gonna be doing an AMA and Ask Me Anything video in celebration of hitting a thousand subscribers. So if there's a question you wanna ask me, you can DM me on Twitter. Uh, join our community discord. I'll have a link down there below. I'm probably gonna make a special channel for that. You can post the questions there. And whenever we get enough questions, I'll go ahead and make the video answer to the best of my abilities. If you guys liked the video, do subscribe, share with any developer friends you have coming up, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.